Hello everyone! As you know me, I love to do videos and one thing I was always missing was a good library to do visualizations. I discovered a library called Manim, which is amazing, also used by my favorite channel 3Blue1Brown. And while I want to install it, there were some problems and that's why I thought, okay, let's do a video about how to install it easy, how to get started easy and that's the content of this video. So enjoy watching. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe and to like the video. And if you have other questions around the topic of Manim, please let me know in the comments. Yeah, so after I saw all these wonderful graphs and actually what is possible to do with this library from Manim from 3Blue1Brown, I decided I also want to do this. Um, I start installing a lot of things and I actually realized that it's not that easy to get it running uh, for Mac OS, but also on my Windows computer. And yeah, due to the thing that I always love to do videos when some things are not running um, or there are some difficulties. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily install it in a Docker container. So it's independent on which system you run to get these beautiful graphs to work within a Jupyter Notebook because I think it's really slim and lean and it's the easiest way to start. If you get started, please make sure that you have Docker installed. So for the ones that have not, um, there's a link in the description. When you have Docker installed, go to the Docker Hub page of Manim and copy this link. It will also be in the description afterwards. So docker pull manim community manim. Go to the terminal, execute it. For me, I have already done it. So hopefully, it's, yeah, it already exists. So it's kind of fast. Once this is done, we can go on the documentation where you will actually see some examples which we will execute in a minute and we go down to Jupyter lab and see here okay if you want to run Jupyter lab just copy this command here and now a docker container is in place we start and that's actually the beauty it also works on the new MR1 processes so you don't need to worry just copy the last link that you see here and there we go. We have our Jupyter Lab. Can get started. So let's just take an easy M3 kernel. First of all, you will see it will work out without any problems. Taking an import. So we have the newest version here. It took me like one minute to install it. I think for everything else, it took me so long. When I tried before, and there were a lot of problems. So. Just for you to, to show you first actually how nice it can be. Uh, let's take the example uh, with the one that I started. So let's take this one here, the brace annotation. Just paste it inside. You will see nothing will happen. So what you need to add here front, if you want to do things, um, just add manim. I always turn down the warnings because Otherwise you have some terminal stuff and then just copy the name of the class. Then here what it does it will do a terminal command. Um, it's rendering the picture and there we go. Of course, this is also working for other things like uh, if we want some animation, let's take this one. Um, and it's only important that you always start with manim, it's like a terminal execution. Let's turn off the warnings again and then square to circle. Nice animation. Props to props to uh, the contributors to this package. It's amazing. I really love it. Um, the only thing you need to take care is when you shut down Docker container, um, everything inside will be deleted. So I hosted it on the extra server or when you finish, you just download your notebook and download what you actually did so that you have your beautiful videos that you created and can go ahead next time with a notebook um, when doing some more animations. So let's wait a second more. It's saved. You see normally here there are some warnings 
um, regarding to different things. Now we don't see them, we only see the render stuff, which is totally okay. I think this should be the last, the fade out that is rendering here. And we should be ready to go. Let's hope I'm right. Come on. Yes, there it is. There you can see now. Beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have other questions around man, I'm really getting addicted to this topic. So put them in the comments below. I will probably do a video if you have some content missing. Happy day, happy coding. I hope you enjoyed the video and you got inspired by doing some cool visualizations. Um, actually, I just did some examples, but let me know in the comments if you want to know something else about man and um, if you have some nice ideas about doing stuff and yeah, happy coding.